Hello and welcome back to the end of week one of VertShock. Unfortunately in this video I couldn't get much footage of me actually testing my vertical jump because of the weather and you'll see that later. But I'm going to talk a bit more about how I'm finding the first week. So the first week is called the pre-shock phase and this is just getting your body ready for the rest of the program. So in the pre-shock phase you've got six workouts in seven days and uh, the first two workouts of these are very jumpy, high rep workouts. And these really push your muscle fibers in your legs to become fast twitch type two, which basically means that you have more energy in short bursts, for example, jumping and sprinting, instead of smaller power over a longer duration like long distance running. Now one thing I do really have to push out when you're doing this first week is you have to be really careful of your technique because if you do something wrong then it is going to really be detrimental to the rest of the program. And I'm speaking from experience because I managed to do one of the exercises wrong and I'm not exactly sure how but I pulled a muscle in my back and then that meant I had to... Um, push the whole workout back a day. Now luckily it was on a rest day and then I just had the day after to um, kind of prepare for the rest of it a bit more. The first week is really going to push you to your limits but like you have to make sure that you're still doing everything correctly because if you burn out in the first week then the rest of the program isn't going to have that much of an impact. So now we'll get on to the, what my vertical jump is looking like after the first week and as you can see it was really not great weather, not great for running in um, running in or really just testing my vertical jump at all, you can see I'm a bit unimpressed there. And um, testing my vertical jump, I couldn't really run that fast and as you can see there it's looking about the same as last week. And um, taking a couple of shots it kind of sums up my day really, a bit of an air ball. Although standing from the um, still is something I can test quite accurately and I thought I did quite well there. As you can see, you know, <laughs> my camera just kind of gets blown over and yeah. It's not a great day for testing, but hopefully after week two, then um, we'll be able to see a bit more accurately what it's looking like. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to check out some more of these videos, and I'll see you next time.